a different color. Dyson Delaney. Jeez. Said missing. I guess I know what happened to him now. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Ah, oh, home sweet hell. Hey, I left the door open. Window open, whatever. Window door. Is that a letter? Done. Oh, that's what the water's for. I just randomly found some water before. Yeah. I want to talk to what's his name. Where is what's his name? Swansea. Is the music gonna change? Oh, it's not even here. Where'd he go? He's. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. I'll take. I'll take that. Thank you. You rare species of a. rare species of vampire, yes. What news, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So it's Elizabeth now. My, my. Things are moving quickly. I turn my back for a moment and away you go. If you know what I mean. How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. I may have found the source of the contagion. Doris Fletcher, the actress. Thankfully, in the end, she was destroyed by fire. Really? Oh, please, do tell me do more. Do tell me more about her death. Doris was a heavily mutated skull. Almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body. Highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, she became motivated by hate alone. Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. Too bad the fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. Oh, probably for the best, indeed. Yes. Have you yes. heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except, perhaps, it reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The carrier was always female. They called them icors. Hmm. Icors, huh? Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Just a courtesy visit then? Yes, and no. She was en route to the docks, I think, following a lead concerning your maker. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend.
her in there. She's the one I need to take down. To earn money, and I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Link spotted. Watch out, boys. Who is that? Oh. Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. Shouldn't be anything that happened to me, eh? Oh no. This is one of the events I have to take care of. I gotta kill him. Sorry, Sean Hampton. I didn't realize that was something I had to take care of. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest. And then I can go back to the people who need me. I'm not biz biz mommy. There are rumors. Okay. Yes, Mr. Jonathan. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Not much, sir. Mr. Dawson's house used to be a good house with many servants. I heard he fired them all recently. He's gonna be a vampire. Okay, then. Goodbye, Avery. Of course. Goodbye, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Did you know your good friend Mr. Crosley was not listening? He's still talking, I'm not in the room, dude. Where's mommy? Oh hey mommy. Hello again, mother. Jonathan! Back already? Good, good. I was just about to go outside to find you. You shouldn't stay away for so long. Mm. Father seems to have left me some documents. Some sort of treasure hunt game. Do you know anything about them? No, Johnny. But your father always loved to write these little games for you when you were a boy. Don't you remember? I don't remember shit. I remember now. He used to post me these riddles. As though they were sent by a mysterious games master. I'd spend weeks trying to decipher them. Your father was always so proud each time you found the answer. <laughs> he was not just the serious doer banker everybody thought he was. A doer. I was proud too. How could I forget that? The important thing is that you remember it now. 
Oh. I'll tell your father the next time I see him. You forgot that he was dead, yeah. He'll be so happy. Could father have conceived some sort of final game for me before he left? I really can't say, Johnny. Perhaps you should talk with Avery about that. He was your father's confidant more than I. Anything else? Tell me, mother, how are you? All alone in this big house with only Avery to take care of you. I'm sad most of the time. Sad that you have left me here alone. Oh, it's all my sad fault. Sad that you don't tell me when you come or go. I'm so sorry, mother. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was coming home. I was home. London, the Thames. And then it happened. What happened, Johnny? I lost my way. Somewhere between the boat and the house, my life changed completely. You should have told me, Johnny. I would have understood. You always were a secretive little boy. I still am. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Okay, bye, Mommy. There wasn't too much more to do there. This is the second matter for you. If you find this one, it means you're probably showing the first part of your sister, Mary. Yes, yeah, that's right, I did. Showed it to a corpse. It's a good thing you don't keep yourself what you just go on. Bloody blah, 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 blah. I don't really care that much. Read if you want to. If, anyway. If you want to know more, you have to remember which hospital you chose to apply for your first internship. I had almost forgotten I applied for a position at Pembroke. It was so long ago. I don't want to go back to Pembroke before I do this temple thing, but the temple's right here. There we go, it's locked, right? Yeah, of course it's locked. I cannot enter. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. You London vampires are so weak! You cannot win this! Face him, absolutely destroyed. Not so hard now. Temple sewers. No one can hide. Hello.
Get him! Go ahead, crush me. I shouldn't say that. Please give me loot. No loot. No loot. So we will let uh, Robert Teasdale, my daughter Louise. Oh God! Did I save him? But no, hang on. Louise. Last time in the bar in the neighborhood. Yada yada yada. Yeah, this is one of my quests. Hang on, is this one of the quests I have? Is this what? Is this right? Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Oh, this is one of the things I had to get for the quest. Request I was trying to do before. How long are you gonna keep me locked up in here? Oh shit! <sighs> anyway, how the fuck am I supposed to beat him? That's just straight up not possible. Two hit kill. He's a two hit kill. Two hits, I'm dead. This is my territory. Fuck you, you bitch.
Oh, for f Shit. How long are you gonna keep me locked in here? Don't you know what you got? This is so Let cheap. Go, you I need to change your weapon now. Oh god, I don't know. This is so risky. I want to go back to my old weapon. So cheap. Let me go, you bastard! I'm not a bastard. Hello? Miss Teasdale, are you alright? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire, told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. God damn. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose Thank my God jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. This was such a pain in the arm. 